Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York is the oldest technological university in the United States, granting undergraduate, graduate, and doctoral degrees in most scientific and engineering disciplines. It has a strong tradition in glass research, with each professor focused on their own cutting-edge investigations. My research is important because we do everything in computers. The the big advantage of computer simulation is that, for instance, the uh, phenomena we are mostly interested in, fracture, occurs at extremely high speed. It is very hard to characterize and understand. Well, in computers, we know the position of every atom. In computers, we can make materials do not exist yet. My group primarily focus on studying the structure and the property relationship in glass by using in-situ light scattering techniques complemented by computer simulations. We try to study its vibrational and elastic property, especially under high temperature and high pressure conditions, as a probe to understand the atomic structure of glass. I'm particularly interested in the interaction between water or water vapor and the glass. Often, small amount of water in glass or outside the glass has a large influence on various properties of glasses. Recently, we found to our quite surprise that small amount of water can be beneficial. We found a way to make glass stronger by simple processing. As a geoscientist, I'm essentially a material scientist of the earth. In other words, I'm interested in the same sorts of materials properties uh, that material scientists study on synthetic materials. In the geosciences, we have to be very concerned about pressure as a variable. And I have a laboratory where we can achieve very high pressures. Much of what we learn in terms of properties of materials at high pressure is um, translatable uh, to material science and specifically to glasses. Our laboratories are equipped with unique facilities for doing glass research. RPI has uh, one of the fastest supercomputers in the world. It is uh, really convenient for us. We have a, a state-of-the-art equipment including high temperature furnace to prepare glasses also, we have uh, mechanical testing equipment. We have uh, equipment to expose glasses to various water vapor pressure and then evaluate the structure by FTIR. So we typically take students with material science background. We also take students with physics, chemistry, or mechanical engineering background. They are working on quite diverse problems. For instance, mechanical property of glass, viscosity of supercooled liquid. There's many glass companies out there which working on the so-called specialty glass or glass with additional functionalities for energy, for example, solar panels, for telecommunications and optical fibers, and for smart windows for new buildings. So those companies are constantly looking for you know, graduate students with background in glass research. In the past, uh, many of uh best uh, graduate students went to microelectronics industry, including IBM, Intel, such companies. More recently, a uh, glass company, in particular Corning, uh, is interested in hiring uh, graduate students. I have students who now work at GE. I have students who work at Unimin, which is an international mineral purification firm. I think if you have a deep passion of uh, understanding materials and particularly using computer simulations as the tool you should come to, to my group you will learn the, the proper uh, technique but also how to analyze a problem and RPI is a great campus. We have a top-notch researchers. You will, you will be in the right environment to help you grow. It's exciting areas. It's also an interesting problem to solve from a scientific point of view. So if you are interested, please contact us and I will be more than happy to you know, talk to you and invite you to come to visit us.